surgery. I hear from people who have been wrongly assessed as being fit for work when they are so clearly disabled. I welcome the Secretary of State's offer to sit with us individually in the tea room, but I fear for all those constituents who do not think of going to their MPs and the countless numbers of people out there who do not know how to access help. Surely it is time now for the Secretary of State to admit that the whole process of work capability assessments are flawed and in need of an urgent review. <laughs> yeah. Mr Speaker, I am aware that a number of members of Parliament have raised issues with me, and as a Member of Parliament myself, I know that we need to do better for making sure that people don't have to wait so long for a tribunal. So I am looking again at what we can do. I am focusing particularly on making sure that that first decision collects more information and that the mandatory reassessment has more content put into it. We are already looking into it, and I am seeing some extraordinarily good progress being made in terms of making sure that that mandatory reconsideration has more information. I will be coming back to her and others with more information in due course. I recognise we need to do more, and I am on it. Yeah. Well, Mr. Minister, update.